They used to say that in order for people to be hypnotized, it took hundreds, if not thousands of hours to learn to do deep trance. These are hypnotists saying this. This isn't even psychologists. Psychologists didn't believe that hypnosis was, was a valuable tool. They said it only treated the symptom. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think treating the symptom is, first and foremost, one of the very important things that you do. If somebody is terrified of elevators, making it so they can get it in one and go up and down is a good thing. And if it only takes a couple minutes to do it, even if it comes back later, you can do it again. That giving people freedom is what my work is about. Now, one of the freedoms that I want everybody to have has to do with your ability to learn because Milton Erickson is, is the first person I ever saw do a rapid induction. And uh, by the way, I gave Milton credit for doing the handshake interrupt. Milton was paralyzed in the right arm. That would have been impossible. I did that to see if anyone was paying attention. But what Milton actually did is he took somebody and he took a hold of their arm, he lifted it up and he looked them in the eye and he began touching them ambiguously so that their arms sort of stayed like this. And then pretty soon after 45 minutes, they dropped into a trance. Well, I mean, to me, I just don't think that it should take that long. And over the years, I've studied different uh, hypnotic techniques, and I've found that there are really two types of hypnotic inductions that work quickly. One has to do with catching people between programs that go on in their mind, that you do something. Milton did a hypnotic induction once where this guy, a doctor, came up out of the audience and walked up to Milton, and Milton went, stuck his hand up like he was going to shake it. He had to actually lift his hand, and he went like this. And the guy stuck his hand out, and Milton bent over and tied his shoe. And the guy was like this. And then Milton might go and sit in the chair and drop into trance. Well, that was really the first handshake interrupt. Now, for me, over the years, one of the things that I've tried to do is to find ways of making it so that people can go into trance rapidly, quickly, and easily. So I've taken these kinds of techniques. Now, the other category, which you'll see today, is there's a lot of hypnotic techniques that have to do with fixating your gaze and your concentration. Hypnosis is not a state. A lot of people think if you go into a trance, you can't see and you can't hear. That one's called death. <laughs> OK, that's a different state. When you're dead, you won't see or hear or feel anything. Hypnosis is really a state of heightened awareness. It's a state where you go into and focus your attention more than you do normally. You actually hear better. You actually have control over your feelings. You can control your heart rate, your blood pressure. Most people can't do that in the waking state. 